Okay, today's lesson is going to be on Rory McLeod, which uh, is a jig. Um, we play two parts of this tune in the Renfrewshire Schools Novice A Medley, and this tune follows Ben Williams of Tyree. You'll notice if you look at your music that the time signature is 6 8. Now, that's a compound time signature. So, when we're dealing with compound time signatures, we divide the top number by 3 to give us the number of beats per bar. So we have the top number, in this case is 6, so we divide the top number by 3 to give us 2. So we have 2 distinct beats per bar. Okay. Within each beat we have 3 pulses, Okay, and that's why we divide that top number by 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So we have 3 pulses in each beat. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, Okay, so that would be a line of the the jig. If you have a close look at your music, bar 1, we have a crotchet followed by a quaver, and then three quavers tied together. So we have two pulses in that crotchet, 1, 2, and then the third pulse is on that low A, on that quaver, 1, 2, 3, Da 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 dum ba da dum. So we have that bum 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 ba. One two three one two three. Now we covered that in the SEQF level three monotone exercises. So if you want to have a look back at that tutorial video, that may help you with the rhythm. We want to have a nice roll effect onto the the quavers. Some people have a tendency to overhang on those crotchets. Um, which gives a kind of a, a staccato type feel to your jig. So we want nice roll effect off your fingers. Dai dum ba hiri di do da hiri dai do dai do dai do. So that bar one sounds something like this. Ta da chum ba hiri bar two. Now we want to make sure that we. Treat all those quavers as equal as, as we can, still giving it a wee bit of swing. So we want to hear that E before the strike and make sure that all the strikes are in position. So you've got those six pulses in bar two. So bar one and two put together sounds something like this. Okay, bar three is identical to bar one. And then bar four. Pe ara haroro. Okay, the next two bars are the same as above. And then the third bar in line two. De ho pre ado. And now I want a nice rhythmical motion to that E double one in the beat two. De ha ba pre ado. De ha ba pre ado. And then the last bar. One, two, three, four. Now make sure that that fourth pulse was where the, the barrel should be placed. Make sure it's bang in, on, in position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, bang. G, D, E, barrel. Okay, so the whole first part, um, and you'll see that we have double dots, so those eight bars are repeated. So I'll now play you. Do that first part repeated. After four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and you'll notice that we have that E introduction note when we're going into the repeat of the part. Okay, please bear in mind when you're looking at the, the crotchet followed by a quaver that we have that nice rolling motion. Dai do, dai do, bum bum ba da, bo bai dum ba hiri. And we'll not go far wrong with our jig playing. When we're learning it, please make sure that we're playing it nice and slowly to begin with. And then we gradually build up in tempo to a nice. A nice, uh, a nice speed for playing in competition uh, and in public. 
So please take it your time with it. Important more to get the feel of the jig playing and don't don't go too fast too soon. So enjoy learning the first part of Rory McLeod. Well done.